Hi, my name is Thomas Nielsen. Uh, today I have an example of a, a simple uh, Python program that I have uh, developed to simulate a phone book um, that is able to upload um, information to a text file, um, download that information back into a, uh, a download to a file and then clear it, uh, upload it, and basically modify it in different ways. Uh, the program has basically five main functions, well, six, if you count the last one, uh, six main functions uh, that you have. You have a print phone numbers, you have a add phone number um, function, you have a remove phone number, uh, lookup phone number, and a retrieve file um, function, as well as the put. Um, function, which is not very glamorous or anything like that. Overall, um, I'm going to include the link to this video um, and with the README file, as well as these are the items I had I utilized to produce this. I use GitHub as well as Pyth uh, Python um, 3.10.1 and uh, Microsoft Visual Studios. Um, here are a few links, and as well as I have some future projects I would want to work on. Um, so just sorting the uh, by alphabet for the phone numbers or finding the phone number that relates to the person, um, because I can look up a person, but I can't look up a number. Um, and then also adding a GUI, that would be helpful that, you know, you pop up and just punch a button or do what you want to do. Um, so let's just go in to examine this. Uh, it has a phone book text. Um, basically just an empty file that has nothing in it. Um, but when I, you know, we play around with the, the uh, Python program, it will actually be able to do thing, more things with it. I have a function at the beginning here that basically just prints out the, you know, the different options that you can possibly do um, that you can, you know, request the program to do. Um, and then it goes down, does a few other things, prints the menu, and then it sits in this while loop and tell you, excuse me, tell you choose option six, um, which basically exits the program um, and closes it down. Um, the, um, so going through these different functions, as I said before, if you choose option one, it will go through and um, iterate through the different functions uh, or different names and phone numbers, grabbing them with their keys and uh, outputting them, putting them on the uh, console. Uh, terminal. Uh, then this one, the choose the add button. I had to do some uh, interesting things with uh, within this. It, I had to not only grab what I was trying to put into a um, into this array, the numbers array. I had to iterate through that array to put it into this uh, a file as a string, um, and then I had to open the file up put it into the file and then close it. Um, if you don't close it, it has really major issues. Then you have the um, remove number. This is probably the most difficult part of the whole thing. I just couldn't figure out how to open the file, read the lines that I want to remove the file. Um, but it is pretty much, you just have to look for that line that you want to remove um, inside the file. And then you just have to delete. Um, you have to rewrite the line so it basically concatenates it and pulls it together so it doesn't have any places in the um in it then um but if you don't find say that doesn't find the number or the name it won't remove anything and just say it can't find it um then you can look up a number that was probably one of the easiest things that could do just ask for a name and it prints it if it doesn't have it, it just says it can't find it find it and then uh, this final function is a say that you have a text file that has a whole bunch of names in it you can pull things back from the other file um, and do that. So let's just run this program and show you how it works. So let's just go in and debug it. Oh uh, yeah, of course, file, I want to do that one, yes. Um, all right, so here we go. So if we, first of all, if we try off, let's try to run the, uh, print the names and the phones, there's nothing in there, uh, but let's try to add some things to this. Um, let's try to add a name, let's say Mickey, and his number is one, two, three. Um, and then let's add someone else. Let's add Goofy. And his name, uh, his name is, I don't know, five, five. Uh, and then you have, um, I don't know, let's do Daisy. 
and her number is 987, and so on and so forth. And if you go back into it, you can see that these, these numbers are there. Um, well, let's just go back to the file that is uploading into the file it now has these other names in the Mickey, Goofy, and Daisy. Um, well, well, what happens if we exit the program? The um, it exits the program, um, but the data is stored in the file. Um, well, well, what happens when we re reinitiate this file? So when we reinitiate it, um, we click one here. It has nothing. But if you retrieve the file, um, it to get that little message saying, hey, retrieve the file, and then we can upload it and it finds that file again. Um, and then you can do other things. So let's try to see, um, let's go for, let's look up Daisy's number and it finds it for us. Um, and let's say that we want to remove um, Goofy from the directory for some reason. Um, we can look it up and he has been removed. Um, so it's kind of it's a little fun. You can be able to mess with it and show it off. Uh, but it's a very simple, um, easy way. Um, I do think I really want to implement those other features as of, you know, the, the GUI as well as the um, sorting it, because it would be nice if Daisy came before Mickey and so on and so forth. But um, that's not any here nor there, but that would be an interesting point to get across. So um, thank you so much, as always.